y'all, Nicole here, your Gulf Coast gal. I am in Gulfport, Mississippi at a really hip new restaurant. It is Marina Cantina. It is right off Lorraine Road in Gulfport. You can take the I-10 um, Lorraine exit and head south and it'll be on your right hand side or you can head north from Highway 90 and the beach and you'll take a left after I think the first bridge that you come to. I'll be sure to clarify that in the notes below. But we're gonna go ahead and, and grab some lunch. I'm really excited. It's a beautiful day. I'm thinking about sitting on the deck and we'll have a look at the water. Um, maybe there'll be a band playing, I don't know. So come join me and let's have some fun and some good food. There's a little sign that shows you where their entrance is with their longitude and latitude and some really cool parking spots for curbside pickup. So if you are interested in grabbing some Marina Cantina to go, just call that number and head on over, park in one of these spots and they'll come out and bring it to you. Super excited and the water is right there. Oh my gosh, I can't wait. I already see a patio umbrella. I don't know what I'm gonna get. I've heard good things maybe about the corn. Let's see. When you first come in, there's this really cool grassy area and then they have a stage for the band. If you have a boat, you can cruise on over here too, which I think is amazing and just dock your boat and then come up and have a bite to eat. I believe that they serve Pops Brothers. You know we love Pops Brothers, so I'm really excited. It is a closer look at their dock area. Super cool and then their little grassy lawn and then downstairs dining. I think we're gonna head upstairs though. So we got a seat on the top deck. Look at that view. I am so excited. This is the bridge I'm talking about. And then you can practically see the beach from here. <laughs> oh, that water is calling my name. We're gonna have a seat and then take a look at the menu. Queso dip, guacamole, tuna dip, street corn. I need this in my life. Nachos, house tacos, sandwiches, primo tacos. I just, I think that grilled mahi is calling my name. It is one-sided, but oh my gosh. What do you think? Jerk chicken, that sounds good. They also have a drink menu at each of the tables. You can scan the QR code, of course, but they have margaritas, specialty drinks, a bushwhacker, which is such a classic. And then you can also upgrade for a tumbler and get a refill on your next visit for only $10. It's calling my name a little bit. <laughs> Let's see what else we've got. Beer and wine. Don't get me wrong, it's super scenic and amazing and peaceful, but um, I'm kind of jealous. I did wear my bathing suit today since it's such a beautiful day out, and I'm halfway tempted to go ask somebody if I can go boating with them. <laughs> Some Mississippi hospitality will probably come in and they'd of course be all about it, but um, kind of feeling a little FOMO right now, to be honest. Um, so my waitress Kimberly came over and took my drink order, and at that time I was ready to order as well. Um, with their regular tacos, you are able to mix and match. Um, so I got one chicken and one of the steak and then told her to surprise me for the other one. I think there was a pork and then a spicy beef as the other option. So we'll see. I also got a side of the corn that I'm really excited about. With your tacos, they do ask you if you want crunchy or soft. Um, I opted for the soft. So I'm ready to get this food and chow down. All right, y'all, my food has arrived. I am so excited. I'm pretty sure she surprised me with the pork one and then the grilled chicken and then the steak and then that spicy sour cream. And then of course, the thing that I've been most looking forward to is the street corn. The street corn was 13, no. <laughs> the street corn was $3. It's one of their appetizer options. And then the three tacos, you can mix and mash, thank goodness. Um, that way I can get a little bit of variety and try them all and let you know which one was my favorite. They um, 
varied from 12 to 14, but since I did a mix and match, some of them were um, in the 14 category. And so these three tacos ran 14. I'm gonna dig in and let you know what I think. First things first though, this corn. All right, so I've got the corn and the tacos. I think I'm gonna go, Ooh, I don't know. I think I'm gonna go corn first. I'm gonna get it all messy and get it everywhere, but it'll totally be worth it. Um, earlier during that crazy transition, I dropped my camera into <laughs> the salsa on the corn and uh, I got to taste it as I was wiping it off and it was delicious. So I'm really jazzed about this. And then there's some of the lime to put on it. Let's see if we get a crazy slime is not playing around. for a whole ear of corn like loaded down is not bad at all. <laughs> Very good. This is so good. I love the spices and the sauce and the cheese. what they called it, spicy sour cream. We're getting our little tacos loaded up. Make sure I distribute tacos, have lettuce, and they have some of that cheese on it, and onions. Um, I'm gonna take some of this cheese from the bottom of the corn box and sprinkle that extra on there. I don't want any of it to go to waste, it's just so good. And we're gonna add the lime on there too. Okay, so we're gonna try the steak one first. Look how yummy. It's packed with steak too. That's good. We said packed with steak. I like this. Even the tortillas like grilled. Right. Now for the chicken. I'm gonna do this one because it has more sauce this side. <laughs> Somebody's just hanging out there and it just looks like so much fun. We'll have to do that one day. You get a little bit more of the onion flavor in the chicken one, but the chicken tastes like it's more marinated than the steak one and you still you get a bunch of chicken and I mean that's 
that's stuffed. Okay, now we're gonna go for the pork one. Again, packed full. I'm, I'm very happily surprised. Um, I would like maybe next time, that's what I forgot. You can add jalapenos for no extra charge and I should do that next time. Thank you so much. Y'all know I love a fresh jalapeno, so. Um, let's put some sauce on this one. Try to squeeze some more juice out of that lime. That is a stubborn lime, let me tell you. But it's huge, so it's got lots of juice to spare. So recommendations, skip prepped with lots of napkins. I think Wolf Coast Guy would like these. And then maybe I'll rank them. I do want to come back and try the mahi ones. I was kind of sad that I couldn't mix and match with those, but I totally understand, you know, especially with the price of mahi. Um, but I'll just have to come back, right? Also something on my wish list. I guess a bushwhacker would constitute as dessert, but y'all know I do love a good dessert. All right. Very tender. Very good. Um, I don't know, it's a toss up. I'm trying to rank them in what order I like them the best. I like the steak a lot, um, but I like the flavor of the chicken. They're all packed full, so I don't know. I recommend you get one of each and you decide. If you've been to Marina Cantina before, let me know in the comments below what taco is your favorite. Um, but of course, at the top of the list is the street form. We're gonna dive into this a little bit more. Y'all are sitting on the napkin holder right now because I forgot to bring in my um, stand. So I'm limited to the number of napkins that I have already pulled. That's okay. And don't forget to get jalapenos next time. I think that would add a nice spice and color and like a fresh crunch that I think I was missing. The lettuce and the onions are nice, you know, they are refreshing, but that extra spice with that crunch of the jalapeno would be an amazing addition. I can't believe I forgot about that. If you don't come here for the tacos, their fish, their daily specials, I think someone mentioned, see, there we go, more stuff on my face. Someone mentioned a quesadilla was one of the specials today. I didn't ask about specials, I should have. Um, you need to get the corn. Appetizer, entree, get the corn for dessert. I don't care, just get the corn. I think we've been over this before. I want to say it was a Cafe New Orleans vlog, and I'll be sure to drop a link to that below. Do you eat corn like all over, or do you eat it in straight lines, or up and down? I know some people are particular about that. As you can tell, I'm just a mobster with mine. So I got some of my leftovers for the Gulf Coast Sky, and I got my tab. It was only $20 for three tacos, corn, and a drink. And I guess they do bring them up single. So the pork was five, the steak was five, and the chicken was four, which is not bad. My drink was three, and then the street corn was three as well. So Kimberly was my server. She was phenomenal and so very nice and thorough yeah 20 dollars delicious food i would buy those the corn by the bucket it was so good so something that got me a little confused that i wanted to be sure that y'all knew about so you don't get confused too if you're here um this is cantina cove entrance it's not actually the entrance to the restaurant it's the entrance to the dock side um so when i came in i accidentally went that way and took the scenic route if you will but if you are interested in dining in the restaurant um instead of going underneath the cantina cove side because i just saw the logo um you're gonna hang a left and you can go up the stairs or go over to the ramp over here so wanted to be sure y'all knew that little tidbit all right y'all that is it for my trip to marina cantina in gulfport what a beautiful day with a beautiful view and some delicious food um i really can't rank those tacos in order i highly recommend that you get one of each um or have them surprise you you can't go wrong and do not forget i cannot say this enough have to reiterate do not forget to get the corn you will not 
be upset. You will not be disappointed at all. I can't wait to come back and try the mahi tacos and bring the Gulf Coast guy and see what he thinks. I do have some of those leftovers, but leftover tacos just aren't the same. So we will be back, um, maybe dine inside and see what that's all about. Um, in the meantime, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. Be sure to give it a like and subscribe to stay up to date on more activities, attractions, and yummy restaurants just like Marina Cantina you can only find here on the Mississippi Gulf Coast.